Yo, so today I'm going up to London to film some stuff for our next film. The film's called The Speed of Life and the uh, opening three, four minutes is uh, like a montage of sort of like documentary, experimental type shots um, around London and other, a few other busy places. Basically building up this concept of like a really busy environment where people don't really interact too much apart from to walk past each other. Um, the whole idea feels quite nice and on paper it looks really nice. So we'll see how it goes. Today's a bit cold, it's like, let's see what the car says. It's about, there you go. It is one degree apparently and I'm gonna go for an outside. I must be mad. No one else is coming with me probably because it's too cold and they decided that they'd rather stay at home and keep warm. But oh well, here we go. I've got the Black Magic Pocket camera. I've got a couple of lenses. I've got a uh, 80 to 210 mil and uh, a 30, 30 to 90 mil and a 24 mil lens. So that should cover the range we've got. I've got a tripod that the uni let me borrow. Two batteries, so we should have a good two hours worth of record time. Even though it's a little bit cold, I might drop it down a little bit. And I've got my power shot the Canon PowerShot S120 to do a bit of time-lapse stuff and get about about 10 minutes worth of record time at a time of that because it has a four gigabyte limit so once it gets to, once the, the uh, data gets to four gig it then creates a new file so obviously it's a new video um, yeah let's go for it let's see how it goes let's drive just quickly stopped off to get a quick drink um, I just want to say all the car parking spaces in this entire car park all empty and they decide to park so close to me that I can't even get in very well. Typical human race, always being a pain. Yo, so I've just got to uh, Woolwich, Arsenal, this is where I always tend to park my car because you can get on the DLR that takes you straight into almost anywhere. Yo, so I had a uh, little change of mind. I was gonna go to uh, Piccadilly Circus first, like I said, but I decided to quickly stop off in Canary Wharf. As you can see, we've got some really nice, look at the size of these buildings, pretty freaking awesome. Lots of people around, so I've been getting a few shots. The sort of things I wanted to get, because do you remember I said I wanted it to be a bit experimental and like not just the generic um, documentary style shots. So I've been looking at the reflections in the big buildings in the windows uh, and looking at the other buildings, like just over the back there we had, we've got the HSBC building and uh, it was quite interesting to get a few shots looking into the other side of this building here, this one you can see, because you could uh, really see it really clearly but all in reverse so it looked quite nice but uh yeah it's a beautiful day we've got some beautiful skies i've made a rookie mistake i forgot to bring an nd filter so looking towards the sun at all is just a no-go for me today hopefully even though oh, well it's winter isn't it so the sun doesn't get too high but hopefully we can uh, we can work around that and i'm um, if you watched the earlier video of me fabricating the lens Stupid me forgot to uh, grind the bit off the bottom of the uh, the 24 mm lens. So, oh well. Whoa! It turns out London is on like a big, big precaution at the moment. I just had the police come up to me asking me what I'm doing. I'm, I said I was just doing a bit of vlogging, and they wanted to have a look in my tripod bag because it was a bit of a strange shape, apparently. But I start, like I said to him, I said I'm, like, I explained what I was doing and uh, I'm, jeez man. But yeah, well, like, it's better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. They're just protecting themselves, protecting everyone else around here, so it shows they're doing a good job. So we just got to the next location. I'm here in Trafalgar Square. There's loads of people. There was like some march thing on a minute ago, so I got a few nice shots of that. Um, as you can see, it's starting, it's still, the sky's not too bad, but it's starting to get a little bit more of a car, so I'm gonna try and hurry things up a little bit. So I'm gonna go, uh, this way towards the mall, then walk down towards Buckingham Palace, get a few shots of that, then get as quickly as I can over towards uh, South Bank maybe, see what I can get, get a few shots around there, but everything's going pretty good. The uh, record memory in my phone's going low, so I'm gonna have to switch over to the power shot in a minute. But apart from that, pretty pleased about it's going. It's not too bad, definitely glad I come today. Yesterday was like minus numbers, so it's absolutely freezing. But today is pretty sweet and in general there's there was a fair few people about it. it's kind of got a little bit died off a little bit now but it's going well so i've just walked straight through from the um trafalgar square now on the mouth for some reason they've actually closed the road off today i'm not too sure but as you can see it means there's going to be lots of people crossing the road 
and I think that's going to look good with the uh, 80 to 200 mil. We'll see what we can get. Just got to Buckingham Palace, and there's quite a few people here. It should be pretty good to get some a good uh, few shots. Uh, yeah, look. So it's going pretty sweet. Right, well it's starting to get a bit cold. I'm starting to get a bit, oh, it's getting a bit of a drain. So I might start thinking about heading back towards uh, one of the tube stations and then heading back towards Woolwich. Um, I'm gonna go via, let me think where I'm going. I'm gonna go via South Bank, I think, and see if I can get just a couple more shots there. And I might call that it for today because it is a bit chilly. But I'll be coming back up in about two weeks time for the actual proper shoot because today has only been getting test footage and possibly if anything extra special I'll use that in the actual film but we'll see what it looks like when we get home. So see you in a bit. Just discovered the most boring job in the world. Yeah, I'm gonna sit on my horse for eight hours a day. <coughs> so I'm now outside, as you can see Big Ben, House of Parliament. Um, a little bit annoyed. The, the other day I bought another battery for the Blackmagic camera. Um, it said it was fully charged, chucked it in. I've used it probably for about five minutes and it's now gone down and saying it's at 20% so the camera won't even work. Rendering the Blackmagic now, no good anymore for today. Um, I'm definitely going to be sending them a stern email telling them they've cost me both time and money because obviously you buy a battery you expect it to be fine. It's advertised as a Nikon battery. Um, I suppose this is always a worry about buying online but it's one of those things I've got to, I'm definitely going to try and get something back off it though because it's just a pain, I'm, it's just not on because now it means I've got to stop filming with that. The S120 is nearly out of battery as well. I'm just with my phone and I don't really want to be filming on my phone so home time for me. Right by the London Eye there's loads and loads of people about so luckily I've still got a bit more power in the uh, S120 to use up so hopefully we can uh, manage to scavenge a few shots here so. See how it goes. Yo, I'm just uh, going back towards the uh, the train station now, but I thought I'd quickly show you this. Look at the sky. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful end to an awesome day, I think. Everything's been pretty successful, apart from the battery, obviously. But now it's time to go home and uh, get all the stuff into the computer and see how it all looks. So, this is what we got. 